Hello friends, this is Mr. Hua, your internet security assistant. Today, let's figure out why your anti-detection browser might not work as expected, leading to potential account blocks. Let's start with a bit of theory. An anti-detection browser is a specialized software designed to protect us from being tracked by websites, online services, and their anti-fraud systems. This browser replaces our true fingerprint with false data, altering the information websites collect about our connection, settings, and the device we use to access the internet. Now let's discuss why your anti-detection browser may not function as expected. The first and most apparent reason is when the user employs the same proxy for all anti-detection browser profiles, or doesn't use one at all. By default, the anti-detection browser doesn't change your IP, so you need to add a VPN or proxy. If you don't add a proxy, even though the website sees different device data for different users, the connection and location info stays the same. This can lead the website to think all these accounts are related. So, if one account gets blocked and put on a ban list, the others might end up there too. Another common mistake, particularly among newcomers, is relying on free proxies. Quite frequently, the IP addresses associated with inexpensive or free proxies are already blacklisted and included in the ban list of significant traffic sources such as search engines and social networks. If you're wondering about recommended paid proxies, don't hesitate to drop your questions in the comments and we'll be happy to offer some suggestions. Another prevalent error that can cause issues is the improper configuration of fingerprint data. Advanced anti-detection browsers such as Wade from Hua.net make it easy to generate a digital fingerprint with just a single click. If you're uncertain about what you're doing, it's best to avoid unnecessary changes to automatically generated profile data. Incorrect settings may trigger the website's security systems to flag the account as suspicious due to unrealistic parameters, potentially leading to its blockage. The fourth mistake involves using a different operating system for the digital fingerprint. Some users create an account on one system, but specify a different one in the fingerprint. When security systems examine system details, they may detect fonts from different systems, raising suspicions. Currently, no anti-detection browser can perfectly hide fonts. For instance, each operating system has two types of fonts, common and system fonts. Fonts like Arial and Times New Roman are common to all operating systems, while system fonts are unique to each. To address this, you can create fingerprints on the same system you're using for the account, or consider using Linux. Install it alongside your main system and acquire all the fonts, and because Linux is flexible, it reduces the chance of being detected by security systems. Lastly, it's crucial to acknowledge that not all anti-detection browsers are on the same level. Anti-fraud systems are in a constant state of evolution, adopting more sophisticated methods. Platforms actively combat repeated registrations and consistently train artificial intelligence to identify anomalies. Furthermore, Regular updates to Chromium, the backbone of most browsers, introduce added complexity. In this dynamic landscape, it's essential for your anti-detection team to remain committed to refining the browser and regularly testing its capabilities to stay ahead of anti-fraud measures. For these reasons, we recommend opting for reliable browsers with active support, such as Wade from Hua.net Wade, consistently releases updates ahead of other services and excels in outperforming tracking tools. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell for notifications on new videos. This has been Mr. Hua, your 24-7 protector of the open internet.